Yo, what's good, everybody? Quay Max, aka Quay Frizzy Hair, Quay in the building. Today, we're looking at Among Us Logic number 17 by Game Tunes. Link in the description down below. You feel me? Go ahead, check these out. Really enjoy the series. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed as well. Also, too, I meant to say this, but we also have a Discord link in the description down below. If you want to join, it'll be down in the description. Let's get it started. Dang, you gonna throw him out in the rain? What is this, a Chinese restaurant? We serving dogs and cats now? Because if so, I'm gonna be the first one to line up. I need that meow meow and bark bark. Oh, that's sad though. Just out in the rain too. Oh, poor dog gonna catch a, a cold. What does any of this have to do with who the killer is? I'm getting to that, player. Do you want to hear the whole story or not? Yeah, player. It was just starting to get good. Fine. Please continue. You said you're ready to get going. So, anyways, eventually Cheddar was able to fall asleep in the alleyway. At the time, I was working as a sign spinner. You know, trying to pay my way through crewmate college. And I was very <laughs> crewmate to college. Ends meet. And they forced you to wear that horrible clown costume? Nah, that was just for me. I figure you love clowns. It showed us everybody else. Clowns are radical. No, they're not, bro. <laughs> clowns are not radical. They're not lit. They're not it at all, bro. Bro, the only clown that's it is Pennywise, bro. <laughs> that's no. Well, that's patently untrue. Facts. But there I was out there spinning my sign, doing other tricks. Skilled hotel. Really just slaying in general. Cause that's sort of my mantra, you know. And that's when these right. punk kids came through and changed my life forever. Dang. Hey, get back here. You let some kids steal your sign, bro? Somebody stop them. Please, please, I need that sign back. Ow! <laughs> bro, how do you let some little kids just steal your sign and start beating you up, bro? The kids don't look any taller than a foot, bro. I'm, I'm built different, bro. I'm built 300% different, bro. I would have got my sign back, and not only would I got my sign back, I would have stomped them out. I would have tapped in my Ray Rice, Chris Brown bag, bro. Start brutalizing these kids, bro, physically. Why? Out. Uh, uh, ouchie. Like, yeah, like he can't do. Ah, 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 <laughs> why? Why me? What could you possibly carry from this experience? Ow. Ah, ah, Bro, you gotta walk that off. <laughs> Wait, I just realized that the dog got cheese on his head. Did it always have cheese on his head? I don't know. Oh my god, Mr. Cheese, get to the point. This man but, player. Just skip right ahead to the end, okay? <laughs> He's always by a single thread in the rich tapestry that is my life story. Yeah, player. How do you expect the climax to have a gratifying conclusion man, if you don't set up the proper tension in the first and second acts? It's like he's never even heard of Freytag's Pyramid before. Freytag's what? Ha! Ah, you've never heard of 19th century German playwright Gustav Freytag's paradigm of dramatic structure outlining the seven key steps in successful storytelling? Uh, no. What? Bro. I never heard that before. shut up already? I may not know anything about German playwrights, but I do know that if we don't figure out who the imposter is, all three of us are going to die. Fine, I'll skip ahead then. I still don't understand. Players a buzzkill this episode, after bro. I passed out in the alleyway from all that blood force trauma. Cheddar was somehow able to transport and check me into the local hospital, Crewmate Regional Medical Center. <laughs> Why Crewmate. bother with the full name of the hospital? Is that important to the story somehow? Or shut up. Sorry. How you feeling, Mr. Cheese? Oh, I'm great, Doc. With Cheddar here by my side, I feel like a million bucks. Cheddar, huh? Looks more like a soft Gruyere to me. Fine. Yeah, he ain't uh, like that. Cheddar it is. <laughs> so, uh, Doc, when do you think I'll be able to get out of here? Hmm, let's see. You know well, Unfortunately, it looks like you're what we call in the biz a total goner. What? Dang, yeah, your insides are seriously jacked up. I'm surprised you're even alive right now. You got all sorts of problems. No, so that's a fact. So is it? Is it Chiminio? I wouldn't say that. Oh, thank God! So there's still a chance I could make it. Wait. 
No, no, no. You're a goner. I just would never say to someone that they're terminal. Bro, you got to keep it a buck, bro. I'm, bro, I don't care who it is. It could be my best friend for life, bro. If I'm a doctor, he's inside my bed, pause. If he's inside the hospital bed, bro, and he's like, Quay, am I, I going to make it, bro? Please, bro, please tell me I'm going to make it. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be real with you, bro. You're not going to make it, bro. You got terminal, bro. Terminal stage three prostate cancer. You finna die in like... 30 seconds, but don't worry. I'm going to make sure your wife is nice and safe, okay? I'm definitely going to hold your wife down because I've been looking at her for a couple years now, man. So you be easy. Oh, wait. You're going to be dead. Never mind. It's such a bummer. <laughs> I like to be the cool, fun doctor that gives out good news and lollipops. I Not see. me. So how long do I have to live? <laughs> hmm. Well, let's look at the chart again. <laughs> oh, my God. You are not going to believe this, but I grabbed the wrong chart. What? You're totally fine. Wow, I uh, I really biffed that one. Brain fart alert. <laughs> Throw the whole Quite doctor away, bro. Yeah, you're free to go. You're in great health. It's some guy named Mr. Mean Cook that only has a few hours left to live. Mamma mia! Wait, pause. Yeah, he gone then. The fire's gone out. Let me grab the gasoline. Wait. Have you been burning all our fuel this whole time? Uh, yeah. I needed that for one of my tasks. Stupid. Well, sorry, Mr. Taskman. How else was I supposed to make my famous white chocolate s'mores? You want one? Oh, s'mores be Using up, up all the fuel. Now they definitely no, ain't gonna I make it. I don't want any snacks. I want to win this game. You said you knew who the imposter was, so just get on with it. Pray fine, player is fine, so... Fine. Jeez, no, here's bro. how the story ends. Relax. After Cheddar helped save my life, we became inseparable. He joined me in crewmate college, and we had all sorts of wacky crewmate adventures. Crewmate college. He helped me cheat on my task 101 test, and together we threw the sickest parties on the entire freaking campus. Plus, Cheddar was always the best wingman in the world. One time, he even helped our <laughs> pathetic basketball team go all the way to the championship. It was a real-life Airbud situation. But he had just I didn't see Airbud in a minute. Dork. Cheddar was straight up dunking on fools, baby. After college, though, Cheddar decided it was best to settle on his own, forging his own path and whatnot. Dang. I miss him every day. I tried to get Toto to replace him, but he ended up turning into it's a just the same, bro. Me pretty freaking hard. Place don't got cheese on his it head. It just wasn't the same between me and him after that. Eventually, I became a regular crewmate on our voyages to Meyer HQ, the Scales, and of course, here on Polis. And we just sort of lost touch. I guess that's what happens when you get older. The friends Wait, you thought you could never what, what 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 this got to do with doing tasks and playing the game, bro? He just doing a, a whole life story, a whole backdrop. I ain't asked for that. That just sort of fade away from memory. <laughs> you have to call him, Mr. Cheese. I know you miss him, and I'm sure Cheddar misses you too. Cheddar did. I mean, maybe, but what would I even say? I know what you could say. What's that, boy? You could say who the imposter is. <laughs> Literally nothing you've talked about during this entire story has had anything to do with what's happening in the game. Yeah. But he has, player. He is you right, see, though. I didn't tell you that little story to reveal the imposter. No, no, no. <laughs> I did it to waste time for my sabotage cooldown. What? So he didn't pause. Oh, it's over. No. Yes. It's over. My grass key will finally be realized. <laughs> <laughs> That's an ugly laugh. <laughs> it's over, bruh. That's because you keep flipping all the same switches as me. You poor pathetic fools. Time is running out. I ain't gonna lie. Mr. Cheese is like the interest the most interesting crewmate, bruh. I'll take this one, player. You activate the sensor on the other side. Got it. Man, that's a big hole. Almost there. Man, <laughs> player is so dramatic, bro. I was just like, bro, that's a big hole. Pause. That's a huge hole. And then when he walked past, it's like a little, bro, it's about as small as my butthole, bro. Get, 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 get at. Uh, I'm gonna make it. Oh, oh, uh, oh he uh, came back. Uh, How'd he get on the ship? Good boy, Cedar. What? How could you do this? You monster. I'm not a monster. I'm just a cheesy boy with a cheesy dog, baby. <laughs> how did it? How did Cheddar come back, though? Dang. 
It's over. They done. That's tough. Alright, that's the video. That is the Among Us Logic, number 17, baby. I don't know how Cheddar got on the ship. I thought he was going in a whole nother galaxy. You know what I'm saying? A whole nother, whole nother atmosphere, stratosphere, bro. I ain't gonna lie though. Mr. Cheese is, is the is the most interesting character in this series, bro. Like every every video he got something interesting to say, bro. It's funny. It's hilarious. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you already know what to do. Link the description down below to the Discord. Okay. If you want to join, you can. If not, hey. That's tough. I'm gonna catch y'all later. And I'm out.